in this video we are going to see what is composite key before that you should know how to create a table with the primary key so if there is only one column you are declaring as a primary key that is called simple direct fire directly primary key so but there are some scenarios two columns data we want to make as a primary key so we have something called customer number customer name customer phone number and mail id and so on i want to make the combination of customer phone number and mail id as a primary key customer phone number phone number and mail id so this two combination data i want to make as a primary key if you want to do that we have to declare as a composite key so that is called composite key if somebody ask you what is composite key combining or declaring two columns as a combination and primary key if the two columns we are making two columns as a one data and making them as a primary key that two columns we can call as a composite key as simple as let me explain practically how you can create a composite key so i am creating a one table create table cust table 3 customer number small integer so if you want to make customer number mail id as a primary key you declare as a not null customer name character 10 or 20 customer address where character 40 customer balance decimal 8.2 customer phone number numeric 10 not null so next customer mail id character 50 not null so what does mean not null means it should you should insert the data into this column phone number and mail id but i want to make these two columns combination data so customer number phone number or phone number or mail id so either two or three columns or more than one column data combination if you want to make as a primary key so we have to declare in this way so we have to declare at the table level column level is not right approach primary key customer number customer phone number in database name dot table space name now in this combination data should be unique so let me take a example so we have customer number customer name customer address customer balance customer phone number customer email id email id so i am taking one simple example so we have in the customer number is a since it is a integer 1000 name a address a some x value x balance 2000 so we are making phone number so i'll see phone number 1234567899 it's a random number i inserted it's a random number or i can insert my contact number 45085 and you can give some mail id so now this only one row is there it is a unique data there is a second row 
if you see only one column combination, it is a duplicate. But you are declaring with the composite key. If it is a composite key, we have to see 1000 and phone number. The similar values are there in the second row that we need to see. So X1, X2, 3000, and the phone number randomly I'm inserting. XYZ, Gmail, dot com, dot co in something I'm giving dummy values. So now the customer numbers are same and phone numbers are different. Hence, we can say that it is not a duplicate data. We have to see the combination. Once we combined phone num customer number, phone number, the values are same or not. So if I see after combining, obviously, the values of phone number is different. Now, 2000, X2, X3, dummy values, 2500, some value, and I'm inserting phone number, dummy value. So in this combination, the phone number is same compared to the first row. But when it comes to the customer number, it is a different. Hence, these three rows are unique. These three rows are unique. Now, I'm giving one triple zero. Y, Y, four thousand seven double nine double seven four five zero eight five. And I'm giving dummy values here. In this case, this is the duplicate data because so 1000 is existing at the same time, same phone number is existing. So two values, two columns values are matching with the another row, two columns, same columns data. Hence, this is the duplicate, but not above three rows. So this is all about composite key. And you should understand when we declare a primary key at the table level. So if you are having two columns as a primary key, if you want to club two columns as a primary key, hence you have to go with the table level only. Now I'm going to execute. We can see the SQL command executed successfully. SQL code is zero. SQL code is zero. Now we have to create a unique index for this particular table. So how we can create a unique index for this particular table? Create unique index ix underscore cust one to two then on which table so since it is a composite key the table has a composite key we have to mention these two columns also in this particular command now run this particular command we can see sql code is zero so table is created with the primary keys primary key and unique index is also created. So from now I can access this particular table. I can insert the data into this table. I can update the existing and if any data is there I can update or I can select the data. So any operation I can do on this particular table because this table has a unique index also. So that's all about 